Hello, hello, and welcome to Tasmania Vibes. So today, so excited, we are in Oxfordshire. So I say it like Shire because we are here with Tolkien himself. Ah, let's get into it. So for all you Tolkien fans out there, we are in Oxford with Tolkien himself. We've brought him a tea. So just a few facts about Tolkien. So Tolkien was actually born on January the 3rd, 1892, like in the 18th century, he's that old. And in South Africa as well. So he wasn't actually originally born in this country, he was born in South Africa. He died in Bournemouth on the September the 2nd, 1973. So Tolkien, he was actually homeschooled by his mum until he was 12 years old. She passed away, unfortunately, and then the rest of the days he was raised by a Catholic priest. Tolkien also fought in World War I, and he nearly fought in World War II. Fortunately, his services weren't needed, but he was an expert codebreaker throughout the war. So he was part of a tea club called TCBS. He used to sneak tea into the library, hence why we brought him a tea. We've got loads of questions to ask him as well, so I can't wait to get into that. Tolkien, he also helped write the first Oxford Dictionary. Any letter beginning with W, Tolkien helped write it. So as many of you know, or if you don't know, I am a huge, huge, huge fan of The Lord of the Rings. We all know The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, and this man here absolutely smashed it. It took him over 10 years to complete The Lord of the Rings trilogy. I think it was in 1948 it was done. And it didn't even start filming until 2001. It was also named the commander of the Order of the British Empire by the Queen in 1972. And on the same year, Oxford University actually gave him a honorary doctorate of letters. So many of you know, Tolkien was so, so clever, especially when it comes to language, because he majored in English literature. He also created his own languages just for fun. So in like all of his books that have different languages, this man here actually created it himself. Speaking of languages, not only did he create his own language, but he was also fluent in 13 existing languages. He also could speak fluent in extinct languages like medieval Welsh, Old English, Latin. He knew it. So he was super, super, super clever when it comes to languages. He was just clever in general. He taught at the Oxford University and Leeds University. He was also an artist as well. He always liked to paint. He liked to draw. So do you know in the Lord of the Rings how they all have their own maps all around Middle Earth? Well, this man here, he drew his own maps. He created his own maps. Absolutely amazing. It's just, it's astonishing how clever this man was. So the Lord of the Rings, everybody knows the Lord of the Rings, whether you watched it or not, it turns out it's the third best-selling book worldwide. Both The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit sold over 150 million copies worldwide. Now that is a massive achievement. In our schools here in the UK, on the 25th of March of 2003, they actually had a Tolkien reading day at school to celebrate his crazy writing. So we're going to get the knuckophonic out, see if we can make contact with him and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to try and make contact with Tolkien, see if he's here with his wife. I've got the necrophonic out. I've also got the EMF, just in case if we pick anything up in the meantime. Okay, so Tolkien, are you here with us? Edith, are you here with us? Tolkien, are you here? Yeah. We're, uh, we are massive fans, so if we can talk to you, we'll be so grateful. We've brought you an English tea. I've just got a couple of questions to ask you, John, if that's okay. So my first question is, The Lord of the Rings didn't film until 2001. 
did you think that it would be one of the best movies of all time? Yes. He knew it. You knew it, didn't you? You knew. Yeah. So can I ask, of all the books you have ever written, which one was your favourite? Edith? Which one was your favourite book you've ever written? It sounded like all, didn't it? Are you happy to be reunited with your wife? Yeah. That is so cute. You two have been together for a very long time, haven't you? Yeah. We have this device here. If you are close to us, if you stand next to it, it will pick you up. Dean is your part of the tea club, and there's your English tea. Do you have a favourite blend? Which one was your favourite blend? With milk. I can, yeah, I can imagine an Earl Grey. Would you like an Earl Grey? So a question about The Hobbit. You originally made it into a child's bedtime story. Did you th ever think that it would be the second best-selling book? Knew it. Yeah, knew it. Do you have a favourite character? So out of all the languages you ever created, go on, which one was your favourite? March 25th, 2003, in the UK, we had a Tolkien reading day at schools. Did that make you happy? He's really talking, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Edith, you are a very lucky woman. You married such a clever man. Don't make like that. No, he has gone down in history. So, as you know, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings sold over 150 million copies worldwide. Is there anything you'd like to comment on that? I just want to make a comment that I am a huge, huge fan. The Lord of the Rings has been my favourite since I was a child. What was it like fighting in World War One? I'm so, so sorry that you lost all your friends during this time. Edith, how did you feel when John went to war? And World War II. You must have been terrified. Yeah. Do you have a favourite story? John, can you give us a clear sign that you're here? Listening. He said listening. Gone? Do you like it when people come and visit you? Yep. I can imagine you've had people all over the world. Edith, I had that. I can imagine you've had people all over the world come to visit you. How does that make you feel? It is an honour to be here with you. It sounds like they're having a full-blown conversation.
Where's your favourite place, Tolkien? Bed. Bed. Same. Same, yeah. 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 I would have very much loved to have met you a real person. But spirit form's just as good. I thank you for being present with us today. You. Okay, John, we're going to go. Yeah. And we thank you so much for talking with us. It's been an honor. Huge honor. And even after that, your your passing, your work is still being published by your son, that we all absolutely love and adore. You and Edith take care now. Rest in peace. Cheers to you. Enjoy your tea. Yes, I really hope you enjoy your tea. <laughs> Goodbye, John and Edith. Bye. That was wicked. That was so interesting. I can't believe we're actually here with him today. He is just phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. We love him. We didn't pick up anything off the EMF, but it's okay. Sometimes it don't. You know what spirits are like. Right, so thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Just want to remind you, it's all for entertainment purposes only. And I shall see you next time in the next video.